Hi guys, solve for the real values of x for x minus 1 over x whole to the power of half plus 1 minus 1 over x whole to the power of half equals x. So how can we do this? Let's say this term is equal to a and this term equals to b. Now we have a plus b equals x. Let's multiply left hand side and right hand side by a minus b. We get a minus b times a plus b equals x times a minus b. Now if you notice this is an identity a square minus b square which is equal to x times a minus b. And now we have to find what is a square and b square. So a is equal to as you can see from here is x minus 1 over x whole to the power of half. So we square both sides to get a square. So a square and here whole square. So 2 and 2 cancel out. So we are left with a square equals to x minus 1 over x. Similarly, we have b. b is equal to 1 minus 1 over x whole to the power of half. Now we square both sides. So we get b square and 2, 2 gets cancelled out. So b square is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. Now let's substitute our a square and b square in the equation here. So what do we get? x minus 1 over x minus of... 1 minus 1 over x is equal to x times a minus b. Now let's open up the brackets. x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x equals x times a minus b. And here 1 over x, 1 over x gets cancelled. We are left with x minus 1 equals x times a minus b. And now let's divide both sides by x. So x, x cancel out. So we get a minus b is equal to x minus 1 over x. So we can write it as a minus b equals 1 minus 1 over x. And now we already know what is a plus b equals to. a plus b is equal to x. So let's write it down. We have got two equations to solve now. Let's add these two equations. What do we get? b's get cancelled out. So we have 2a is equal to x plus 1 minus 1 over x. So we have 2a equals to x minus 1 over x plus 1. And we know what is x minus 1 over x. It's a square. So let's write it down. Which is 2a equals a square plus 1. Bring all the terms one side. a square minus 2a plus 1 equals 0. If you've noticed, this is an identity, which is a minus b the whole square. So b is 1, a minus 1 the whole square equals 0. Therefore, we have a is equal to 1. Now, we already know that a is equal to x minus 1 over x whole to the power of half. So let's write it down. a is equal to x minus 1 over x whole to the power of half, which is equal to 1. Now, we square both sides equals to 1 square. And 2, 2 cancels out. So, we have x minus 1 over x equals to 1. Now, let's multiply both sides by x. So, we get x square minus 1 equals to x. Bring all terms one side, x square minus x minus 1 equals 0. And this is a quadratic equation, so let's solve for that using the quadratic formula. a is 1, b is negative 1, c is negative 1. Negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Let's substitute the values. Minus of minus 1 plus or minus b square is minus 1 the whole square minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 over 2 times 1. That equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which is 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So we have your golden ratio 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and negative reciprocal of the golden ratio that is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Let's see if either of these roots a solution to the equation. Let's go back to the rational equation and evaluate each root. First we'll consider negative root. We can actually see that it cannot be a possible solution because the sum of two square roots will be equal to x sum of two square roots should be a non-negative number and here x is a negative number so we can eliminate this possibility now for the golden ratio 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 this is in fact a solution to the rational equation therefore the solution to the rational equation is the golden ratio yes that's your answer thank you so much for watching if you have any suggestions you can write it in the comment box bye bye take care